The Wolf M Pro now features improved detection for hidden GPS trackers. Most GPS trackers are active only when they are in motion, and even then, GPS trackers only transmit on a specific RF cellular uplink band to nearby towers in fractions of a second increments. This makes initial detection of a hidden GPS tracker difficult, but certainly not impossible. As you can see on the spectrum analyzer, in order to detect and ultimately locate a hidden tracker, you will need to be patient and methodical in your search. The Wolfhound Pro takes approximately 20 minutes to entirely scan all cellular bands that a GPS tracker can possibly transmit. That does not mean that it will always take 20 minutes to initially detect a GPS tracker, but it can take up to that long depending upon which RF band is being used and the current user settings of your Wolfhound Pro. For any initial search, we recommend sweeping all bands for 60 seconds each. There is a setting to sweep all bands for only 10 seconds each, but we recommend using this setting as an accelerated test search method for verification only after you have identified a possible GPS tracker. If you have access to a working GPS tracker that has been activated, we recommend you acquaint yourself with the timing and procedures by first testing it in a controlled environment. After turning on the GPS tracker, simply shake it a few times periodically to make sure it is transmitting, and then make note of the signal detections on the Wolfhound Pro to determine the current transmit interval settings of that GPS tracker. Also take note of the regular cellular data signals when they occasionally appear on the Wolfhound Pro as longer, more frequent, but sporadic bursts compared to the short regular bursts from a GPS tracker. These details and observations can save you a lot of time while you're out in the field. When the Wolfhound Pro has identified a possible tracker, this icon and the tracker's frequency will appear. You may now choose the specific bin that contains that frequency in order to begin an accelerated verification sweep for the GPS tracker. Since most GPS tracker detection involves vehicles and occurs in a field, we will finish this video from inside a moving vehicle. Once the GPS tracker has been activated through motion, reset Wolfhound Pro's maximum detection watermark and frequency by pressing the down arrow icon and then wait for the detection while in motion. When a detection is received, start the timer. Wait for this signal to hit again and mark the time. The time difference between these two detections should indicate the interval transmit settings in the tracker you are trying to locate. Knowing this interval will help verify this signal as a GPS tracker and not some other cellular device. It will also help in direction finding which can greatly accelerate the discovery of hidden trackers. Take note of the watermark and that the signal strength closely matches for each interval transmission. This further verifies a GPS tracker, especially in a moving vehicle. Once you have confirmed a GPS tracker somewhere inside or outside the moving vehicle with you, you can then swap out the omnidirectional antenna for the supplied direction finding antenna in order to locate the GPS tracker. Choose the GPS tracker frequency you have already identified and operate the Wolfhound Pro from the middle of the moving vehicle by pointing the DF antenna towards the front or the back until the threshold is broken a few more times. You should see the signal appear in the same regular intervals as it did before. This will indicate how long you need to keep the directional antenna pointing the same way before changing its direction or angle. From there you can continue to narrow down the location of the GPS tracker into a quadrant or even smaller area of the car. Don't forget to also check above and below for the GPS tracker signals as trackers are sometimes placed near the floor or ceiling of the interior of the vehicle's body. If a full search of the vehicle's interior yields no results, you will need to perform a visual inspection all around the exterior of the vehicle since it can be difficult to scan the exterior of a moving vehicle without additional vehicles and assistance alongside. 